Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at classes in Python. And the example or the scenario that I'm going to use to help explain this is a pack of cards, or specifically the individual cards itself within that pack. So as you know, uh, or if you don't know, go and Google it. Um, a pack of cards has 52 cards in it, um, not including the Joker card. And each of those cards has a unique uh, set of, of values. So 1 to 10 is going to be in each suit. There's four suits and there's two colors. Um, the, of the of the two colors, there are two suits assigned to the to that color, and of the other color, there's the remaining two suits uh, assigned to that. So, in fact, rather than me just trying to explain this, here's here's a picture. So we got um, we got your clubs: ace, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king, and you've got the same for spades. The same uh, value of the card, so the value being here a uh, ace, two, three, four, five, all the way to king, and then we come into the red cards, so red and and so on. I, I won't go into this too much because it's not really important to what we're doing, um, as far as having it obviously very accurate for the real use of it. But I just want to use it, use cards as an example to set up and explain classes. So I'm just going to get straight into it now. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about cards. So set up a class. Uh, like we do with other things, you, you know, you start with a keyword of what you're wanting to do. So if we're setting up a class, we're also going to start with um, setting up a class. Sorry, I'm just bring up this screen recording to make sure it's recording. There we go. Um, class. And what is the class going to be called? Well, we're going to call it cards because it's going to contain our um, information about the cards. You could just call it card if you want, but I'll call it cards for now. It doesn't really matter. Uh, colon. Next line, and then this is where we're going to set up a um, function. Now, this function, if you call it, sorry, the brackets there before the colon, uh, define <coughs> double underscore init double underscore. Um, this is a reserved function and will automatically run when you call upon this class, and I'll explain that a little bit later on when we just try and run the code uh, with a few bits missing. So, uh, open up your brackets there for the initialization of the class and it's going to ask for three variables self has to be the first one and then the next so it's not going to ask for three it's going to ask for one and then however many variables you want to pass into this card object so if we remember back we've got the value the color and we've got the suit so we've got value color and suit now Obviously, you've got to keep referring back to, and I'm just going to go back to the list of cards. There, you've got to keep referring back to the list of cards, if unless you're not very familiar with it. Um, but that's it, done for now. Uh, we, we're telling the card that when it runs and it initializes itself, we're going to have these three values passed in. So what we have to do is we have to say self dot value is equal to value, um, and I know we're using two uh, sort of variable data names. For the same thing but it really doesn't matter too much here so self dot variable uh, var value sorry self dot color is equal to color and self dot suit is equal to suit pretty straightforward uh, this way you can obviously see and get your head around it and um that is that's pretty much it done for our class we've created it um when we call upon this class it's going to ask for those three bits of information so i'm going to set up a single card here so card one it's a new object, new variable. Um, it's going to be equal to cards and then open and close bracket. Now I'm going to run it at this just to show you what happens um, and to explain this a bit further. So uh, this is the error obviously I'm, I'm wanting to happen. It says type error. Uh, the initial initialization function is missing three arguments, value, color, and suit. So I haven't given that information to the class cards when I've tried to create an object um of this class so I've tried to create create a instance of that of that class as an object so it wants those three bits of information so I'll go ahead and give it um if i'm looking at the cards here i can see i've got ace two three four five six and so on so i'm just going to pick six as the value the next bit of information it wants is the color now i'll just put two quotes in here if i'm going to choose um the diamond suit then it has to be a red color so red and then it's finally going to ask for the uh, suit of cards. So six, red, diamond, oh, diamond. So now if I give it a run, 
uh, we get nothing happen seemingly obviously no error it's all working fine we haven't asked it to do anything on screen yet so here's where we can print uh, the card one and again I'm just going to print like this which is going to throw up an error so if you can you understand what the error is don't worry I'm not just uh, not understanding what's going on um, it's printing the object itself so th what where it's stored in the memory now we don't we don't want that we want the values so we have to sp specifically call for those values so card one dot value uh, card one dot color and card one dot suit so now if we give it a run because we've asked for those bits of information it will print out six red diamond um, now obviously this is all information that would be useful if you were to set up a game. You wouldn't necessarily just sit there printing out six red and diamond. You would use that information to determine um, the outcome based on a set of rules for that card game. Um, so that is pretty much it um, in a nutshell. There is obviously a different way you could do this and I'll, I'll show you right now. We could set up, so for card two, we could set, up, set it up as a... Um, a list or even a dictionary so card two here let's set that to be uh, let's just go with ace so it has to be a string for the value because it's a, a letter um, and then it's going to be let's do the ace of heart so it's going to be red and the suit's going to be hearts or heart doesn't really matter um, and then because we've created that I'm going to print it out card two print so you can see it does, within reason, pretty much the exact same thing as our class setup. But obviously in only two lines of code. A couple of things that are not wrong, but not great about this way of, of, of setting up a uh, card to hold these, these three different bits of information, those three bits of dif different data about the card. One is how it gets printed out. We don't want this information. And if we wanted to print only um, information at, say, uh, the index zero, obviously we can. Uh, so we can just print just out A, and it doesn't include, obviously, these uh, this punctuation. But then you start to get into this situation whereby you have to remember uh, what's at position 0, 1, 2, and so on. And there's no way of telling what's type of value is at position one so uh, obviously that would be position zero that's position one and that's position two so the information here is the color of the card now if i go back to our uh, class i can see that card one dot color is going to return the color i know that card uh, open close square brackets with one in the middle i don't know what that's going to call within reason I, obviously i know in this example because i can see here that's in position uh, one that's what's going to be returned but when your code starts to get more complicated and you start to add more things in um, you can kind of lose track of what's at those positions so it's it's not very good in that sense and also I can easily add in more functionality to this class by adding more functions I can add functions that do uh, that can edit the cards or change anything around I can add functions that return certain bits of information or does something to that information you can just expand the functionality uh, surrounding this card or the the object that I've called cards so um, the example isn't just limited to a pack of cards, like playing cards. You could do cars, so you could have the, and I say cars, C-E-R-S, I know I've used a word very similar to cards. Um, but cars have the make, model, engine size, colour, uh, whether it's front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, all wheel drive, uh, what type of fuel it uses. There's all those different bits of data surrounding one object uh, that we can bundle together and keep in one class so it's a lot more useful a lot more uh, there's a lot more expansion available for this this method of creating objects so I hope you found this useful um, go ahead and practice this and do it with cards do it with a with cars do it with something else that has multiple bits of information surrounding its itself okay so thanks for watching I hope you enjoy this and you found something useful um, and I'll see you in the next video